and a small number of pending missions that you haven't been able to progress. Exactly, sort of. yes. However, on the ones that I have been able to make full contact, each one has been very successful. And overall, in terms of the, the, the total context for all of this, which is the planet. changing the timeline and, yes. and, and um, restoring free will and self-determinism to the citizens of the planet, how far on track are we? Can we measure this? Are we doing well? We're doing extremely well, way beyond any expectations. And also, it's wide open right now. It's wide open. There are no limits <laughs> of how much it can be accomplished. So, it's wide open in terms of the degree of positive potential. Right. There is, that's what yes. you mean. Not in terms of whether we're going to make it or whether we're not. Oh no, we are going to make it. Okay. <laughs> right. And how rough that's going to be and how hard it's going to be for the majority of people on the planet is still open. It's not going to be as bad as it could have been, right? Mm -hmm. um, but how bad it gets, it really depends on the collective. It really depends on each individual choosing to process their fear. Hmm. And each person that does it, each person that decides not to engage in that fear, adds a little bit more higher vibration to the planet and affects it for th hundreds of others. Right. So you're saying that, that we're definitely going to make it, yes. as it were, but th the, but the unknown variable is exactly how rough a ride it's going to be. Yes, and that's uh, going to be decided by the collective. Right. It's what the collective needs, it's going to be what happens. Does that mean that we have changed the timeline, or is that too simplistic because it's like a question of which t which timeline we're on? Right. It depends on... Uh, as individual. <laughs> let me start that sentence again. It's a question of... of, of um, we could be on any number of different timelines and some of them are rougher than others, but they're all kind of going to end up in the right place. Mm -hmm. Okay, so each individual on the planet has control over their own timeline. And that's one of the things that they don't, don't want you to know. Because if the person is able to change their timeline, they're not going to choose one where they're enslaved for the rest of their life. They're going to choose one where they can manifest wherever they like, and live wherever they like, and have a beautiful life. Right. So when we're talking about have we changed the timeline, the correct question would be, have I changed my timeline? And joining those others that want the same timeline that I want. <laughs> now I've got the visual metaphor of, of, in inverted commas, the timeline as actually being this big braided rope made out of millions of little threads, mm -hmm. which, 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 which are intertwined right. in, in any number of different permutations to make a, make, make a timeline. Yes. And, and, and each one of us create that thread as we wish and, and align ourselves with others who are creating their threads as they wish. Exactly. And if you have a conscious choosing of that thread, and threading, and joining, you no longer have enslavement. It's impossible. You no longer have wars, unless there's a group of people who really into war games. And they can create their own timeline together. Wow. That's a moderately staggering thought, I have to say. In a previous conversation we had, just the other day, you kind of put a percentage on it. You said that it was 70% handled. Um, and that might not even have been exactly what you said. What were you referring to there? A smooth transition without chaos and like millions of lives being lost. Ah, okay, I've got you. All right. So that's... So that 70% is on the kind of smooth, rough spectrum. Right. <laughs> okay. um, but actually you're saying the overall outcome is assured. Absolutely, yeah. Am I right in understanding that when you came here um, a few decades ago, you, the outcome was not assured, and since then conditions have changed, and now it is assured? 
Yes. Okay. And in putting it together like that, I'm not trying to simplify things in such a crude way as to saying that, that you alone have done this. You said earlier you wanted to point out that of course you haven't. This is a whole movement, it's a whole concert, it's a whole teamworking effort with, with tens of thousands of people involved and we'll never know most of them. I would say millions. Mi yes, um, all in different ways. Right. There are beings who are, who are incarnating here from, from, from everywhere and, in the, in, and in the everywhere. universe. <laughs> exactly, yes. yeah. From the universe, from outside of the universe right. and from the next door planet. I mean, mm. all kinds of things are happening yeah. here. And many of the people watching this may have had personal encounters with some of those beings. They may well be those beings themselves. Right. They may be those beings themselves and they don't even realize it and this video is going to wake them up. Maybe yes. how about that? <laughs> Because here we have the interesting opportunity of rather than you sitting next to someone on a park bench or going to visit some evil dark despot on his throne in his mansion personally, you can actually do this virtually through this video by representing your presence right. with everyone who watches this, tens of thousands of people. And maybe this yes. is why we're doing it. There's no coincidence that you're watching this video right now. <laughs> 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 There's no escape. Uh, that's, yes, that's, 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 I mean, I have to say that thought only just occurred to me, but, mm. but, but there could be something in this, couldn't there? <laughs> <laughs>